Good morning, year 10s. How's it going, guys? Can I just point out, by the way, I am having a proper giggle with your chat. It's really funny. So I think Shan Lee's not even meant to be in this class. So she's just, she's just a proper giggle. Ah, pro just, she's just bombing the class, which is amazing. Uh, and then we've got, <laughs> uh, I know it does feel like it's been forever, Dom. It really does. And then I've got Atia say she's going to fail Bahasa. <laughs> oh, sub Zach. Oh, you guys make me laugh. Good morning, Helping. Morning, Libby. Let's do the register. Let's, let's crack on, shall we? Got Zach. Got Sophia. Who else have I got there? Got Amani. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> do I have Tiff? Anyone seen Tiff? I haven't seen Tiff yet. Uh, got Lara. I think Lara's just arrived. Hello. Hola. Hola. Come I have no idea what the response that is. Uh, isn't that French? Come on. More bien. No, it's French. I don't know. I've lost my marbles. I'm being beaten by languages already. Got Al Ping in the room. Al Ping. Got a little bit. I uh, got Lynn, saw Lynn before. I mean, I've got Dom, saw Dom before. Yeah. Okay, so how are we getting on? Shan Lee, you're still there. <laughs> do 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. It's Monday, Monday. We're doing acid base lesson four, salts. Whoop, whoop. You do have art oh, morning, Tiff. There's Tiff. Tiff is in the house. There's Caitlin. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, Caitlin's here. Has anyone seen Ryan yet? No. Tiff's here. Kayla? Mel? Audra? Anybody? Ah. Still missing a few. Audra, Kayla, Mel, and Ryan. That's who we're missing. That's who we're missing. Good morning, Tiffany. Good morning. Does everyone like me wearing my shirt today? Wearing my shirt now. Mm. Not that it makes any difference. I'm going to be sharing my screen with you guys soon. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. And I will mark those people as not here. And then I will go and amend any, uh, any registers that need to be done. Looking fresh. <laughs> Mr. Duncan, I'm so tired. Tiff, how are you tired? I can't imagine that you got up early. There's Mel. Yo, Mel. Mel's in the house. Thanks, Imani. I do try to look fresh in the mornings. <laughs> oh. Tiff, why are you tired? I mean, for a start, it's chemistry. How can you be tired for chemistry? Yeah, and I bet you got up, I mean, you probably got up like me at like 7.30. That's so late. Like crazy late. I'm usually up at half past five. Madness. Madness. Although I do find it is tiring when you're just, uh, when you're just in the house and you're not doing anything. It is, it is quite exhausting. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I'm busy making you homework sheets, you guys have homework today. It's Monday morning. I know, right? He's make, he, me here waking up 9.25. <laughs> Amani, you have not just woken up. I, I, I find that too hard to believe. Right, I'm going to say that Kayla's not here. Going to say that Audra's not here. Going to say Ryan's not here and Anamia's not here. Shh, love it. Okay, save, register, receive. Okay, right, guys, cracking on today. Cracking on. So, learning objectives. Oh, my father. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, just getting rid of my keyboards. Keyboard, share the screen. There we go. We're up and burning. There we go, let's get rid of that bit. There you go. I'm in. I'm in. And this is where we left off. Yeah. And we were talking about, we were talking about King Zach. Yeah. And we were talking about Bronsted Lowry acids, Bronsted Lowry bases. 
proton donors, proton acceptors. Yeah, we talked about that. And then we talked about the ionic equation and neutralization. And then we did some reactions and we did the rules. Guys, I cannot stress the importance of these rules because that's part of today's lesson. So we're on to lesson four today. So this is uh, acid base. Acid base. Acid base, lesson four. Yeah. And what we're doing today is we're talking about salts. Talking about salts and, and more equations, which is great because it's such good practice for chemistry. And we get all three of our learning objectives today. We have a learning objective. Number one is a knowledge. Yeah. So recall this is acid base rules. No. Yeah, that's what K is. K is the easiest of our learning objectives. So know the acid base rules. And we've already seen it. And we're gonna write it down again because we're gonna we're gonna reinforce. I'm actually gonna change that to reaction rules. I think that's better. It, it's clearer, isn't it? React if, 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 if you've just put rules, it makes no difference because you can just tie that into your notes and go, yeah, 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 yeah. So don't worry about if you've missed that word. I, I could just edit, you know. Then we got understand. I need you guys to understand the acid salt relationship. Yeah. And I think lots of you guys have already got this. That what you realize, and this is why I love chemistry. As you go through it, as the more chemistry you do, the more you realize you've already done it, which is amazing. Try and learn as little as possible. Learn to build it. This is the best thing about chem. Unlike bio, where you actually have to learn a textbook. And all these horrible words, it's all. So last one is an able to, yeah? So we need to be able to write equations. Write acid base equations, yeah? And of course, it, this is of course reminding us, yeah, of balancing words to symbol and balancing, but it's about applying those rules. And then we need to talk about salts, yeah? Okay, so first thing I want to do is, once again, and I know you guys will hate me for this because, you know, I'm being repetitive, but in reality, I mean, I'm pretty sure that most people in this room, most people would say to me, yeah, actually, the more times I write it out in lesson, the better. Yeah, we, we all know that. So repeating stuff is good. It's about reinforcement. It's about, you know, the more you use it, the better you get at it. So the rules, acid-base rules, first thing I want to do is, again, write these down, acid-base rules. Do you know what? I'm, I'm starting to realize the importance of these rules in my teaching. You know, now, you know, 15 years on, I now teach the acid-base rules in year seven, in year eight, in year nine. I'm constantly going back to them to help reinforce that data. So let's write it down again, metal plus acid. And it's nice to remind ourselves of my... Uh, one of my students a long time ago. So guys, on the chat, please, what am I gonna make? There we go, give me it in words. Metal plus acid goes to blank and blank. On the chat, please, who's gonna be first one on chat? Come on. <sighs> yeah, whilst you guys are out in chat, I'm going <laughs> Thank you, Lara smashed it. Kayla, Kayla's in the house. Hey, Kayla. Sultan H. Lynn, I don't mind if you do that as long as you put a little two after it, like how Ping did. <laughs> you see, don't mind if you do that as long as you put in that little number two. Yeah, number two, very important. Don't know why I go on Yorkshire. I've no idea. I haven't got a clue. Kayla, now that you've arrived, where's Kayla gone? Hey, hello, Kayla. I know you're late. Kayla, is Audra watching? Yeah, do you know, I just do it too fast. Mash, too fast, mashed potatoes. Absolutely, got a little bit of mashed potato. Salt, yeah, salt, underline S, and hydrogen. Yeah, like it. Yeah, there we go. And this, this, by the way, I didn't invent this, which is very upsetting for me. Yeah, some of the most important things that I use to teach I didn't actually invent, and that one I didn't invent. That was made by a by an A level student of mine about I don't know, maybe ten years ago now, I think. Um, but it's really useful. So metal plus acid, solid hydrogen. Next, metal 
oxide. Metal oxide plus acid. Guys, on the chat, please. On the chat, what am I going to get? Salt. What am I? Oops. What am I going to get for that one? Yeah. And then I'm going to follow it up immediately with this one. Hydroxide. Everyone loves a good hydroxide. Yeah, metal hydroxide plus acid. Yeah. This is where I really wish they'd lined up, but they haven't. Salt and water. Thanks very much, Chow Peng. I don't even want to try. Oh, Atia. Atia, you too fast. No, Atia, you can do this. These, This is why I'm going over the rules again. There aren't that many rules, I promise. And it's worth learning them. You should put these on a revision card. Yeah, so the, the top one, salt plus water, just as Hao Ping said, which is great. I shouldn't actually write H2, I wish if I'm going to stick to word, I should go for word. Yeah, salt and water. Now, Atia, the great thing about these rules is some of them can be joined together. Why have I put these two I can put together? This is the same outcome. Learn as little as possible. If you can connect people together, do so. Salt and water. The last rule. So there's really only two rules so far. Um, and then the last one. Yeah. Metal carbonate. Right. I'm going to ask specifically now to Atia. I'm going to zoom in. Atia. Have a think about it. Metal carbonate. Metal carbonate plus acid. What am I going to get? Uh, by the way, some, it's actually easier. I know this seems really odd, but it's actually easier to be in symbols because the symbols help you see what the atoms are doing. So let's do an example. Calcium carbonate plus HCl. What am I going to produce? So now that we've explored the rules, I know that Atti is going to be giving me the answer to this. Look at that. It's quite nice at times to realize that knowing the number of products can actually be super handy as well. Atia, can you give me any of the products? I'm sure you can, because we're coming to the next set of rules in a minute. You can definitely do this, Atia. Give me one of them. Metal carbonate plus acid. What am I going to get? Come on, Atia. I know you can do it. I know you can. <laughs> I know you can. Uh, Atia has gone quiet. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to chat with me. <laughs> don't want to chat with me. <clears throat> Salt, water, and CO two. Thank you so much, Atia. That's spot on. Absolutely correct. Well done. Salt, water, CO two, and carbon dioxide. It's perfect. Well done. Thank you. And I promise you, it gets easier. Yeah, that I think is correct, Atia. You're spot on. Absolutely. And what we can realize from the rules. You know, the salt is always made. If you ever have an acid in any reaction, you're going to form a salt. It's always there. Then, of course, you get these slightly differing products with the hydrogen gas for the metal, water for the hydroxide oxide, and water and CO2 for the carbonate. Um, but in reality, there's not enough, there's not as much as you think. Like, it's, it's not that bad. Okay. So I've then given you this one. Atia, can you now tell me the salt for this reaction, please? For this reaction here, what salt am I going to get? And this is where, while she does that on the chat, I'll begin the next process of salt rules. Salt, salt rules! <laughs> see, see what I did there? I did like rules, like it rules. I couldn't find the stream, sir. Oh, there's Ryan. Rocking up late. Hello, Ryan. Ryan, I'll mark you as in. And if you can do me a favor, you can just start the video back from the beginning, Ryan. Don't worry about contributing on the chat today. Just rewind it back to the start, run it through. That'd be great. I'm glad that Lara found it funny. Good job, Lara. High five. Virtual high five. High five. Yeah. Boom. Mr. Duncan, is the rule still the same if you have a metal carbonate and carbonic acid? Yes, it is. 
And it's a bit of a nightmare, that one. Yeah, it, it really is. It's, it becomes a little bit more complicated in reality there, Libby. It's a really good question. Should we try one? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So let's try calcium carbonate. Oh, no, I've got any other. Calcium carbonate. Try and do a Welsh accent. How about a Welsh? Calcium carbonate plus carbonic acid. I can't, I can't do it. It's impossible. So what you realize, uh, calcium chloride, water, and CO2. Well done, Atia, you star. Well done. Brilliant girl. Well done. I'm going to get calcium chloride. Going to get H2O. Going to get CO2. Superb. Good job. You see, Atia, you can do chemistry. Uh, okay. So... Okay, Libby, this does become a little bit more complicated. The reason being is carbonic acid is actually a weak acid. Yeah, it's not a strong acid, which means you don't really get full neutral, you don't get full dissociation in water. It's only partial. Yeah, so what's actually going to happen is, and you can actually split this into the ionic equation as well. What in reality is going to happen is the carbonic acid goes through partial dissociation. It actually forms these two. Yeah, it doesn't go completely all the way. It only loses one because it's weak. Yeah. So what then that the H plus will react with the carbonate ion in the limestone. That will occur. Yeah. And what's then going to happen is the carbonate ion, yeah, is going to react with the H plus and it's going to form more hydrogen carbonate ion. So that there, this here is the acid base ionic equation. Yeah, that is the acid base ionic equation. And then these two are going to combine. So what you're actually going to produce is calcium hydrogen carbonate on a rather large scale. And you're also, by the way, when you do that, yeah, they combine and you're going to need two of them per calcium because the hydrogen carbonate ion is a one minus and you'll probably find that that now balances and it does in that funny that's really hard Libby. it's way beyond gcse do you know what carbonic acid is very rarely even touched at a level because they know that there's this odd complexity about it so don't worry too much about it but you don't get the co2 i know it's tricky that one because it's so weak yeah, it does depend actually on the concentration of the carbonic acid also, but it is tricky, that one. That is really hard, so don't really worry about it too much. That's a slightly different rule for the weak, for the uh, the, car hyd the hydrogen carbonate ion. Sorry, for the carbonic acid. Yeah, but good question. I, I don't want to make this any more... Con oh, okay. Does that make sense? That, I mean, don't get me wrong, that's, that's even... That's really top-end A-level. Yeah, because that is a horrible thing to understand that. Yeah, it really is not nice. So I don't want people to worry about it. You don't need any of that complexity at GCSE. You do need the ionic bit, which we've already covered, and we'll remind ourselves of that in a minute. So salt rules. Thanks to Atia. Atia already knows her salt rules, which are amazing. So what we need to realize is that the acid, the acid in, in the reaction, the acid in the reaction provides provides the anion the anion for the salt now that sounds really complicated i know but what that means is it means that as a result of that sentence yeah what that means is if i have an acid yeah if i have an acid hydrochloric yeah hcl the salt will become a chloride salt yeah chloride salt yeah because i should put dot 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 chloride yeah i'm always very wary of this table this little table which i'm currently drawing i'm very wary of uh shanley me too what, what? Oh, Vic's here. Oh, hi, Vic. Nice to see you. Am, am I doing something wrong? Am I meant to be teaching a different class? Like, I'm not entirely sure if I've just made a mistake on a timetable or something. I hope not. Lol. Um, and, and now what I want to do is I realize the limitations of this table. And so I want to now put it into an equation. So HCl 
plus let's go for sodium hydroxide, the good old classic. And we know that we're going to form a salt, yeah, because this is an acid, yeah, and this is the base, yeah, and the salt is going to end with chloride. So it becomes sodium chloride and water, of course, and thanks to our rules that we've just done. So the acid chooses the, the, the anion. My class has a busy teacher, so I'm just doing cover work. Oh, okay. I wonder if I'm meant to be somewhere. That would be hilarious. I think that would be really funny if I was meant to be doing something else. Yeah, whatever. So we know that the HCl provides the anion. It looks like I've done a small CL there. I've got to be really careful of that. It's not really quite. There you go. There's the anion. Yeah. And, and so let's now do the, all the acid rules. So then if we do nitric acid, I'm actually going to write down the name underneath it as well. You can do the same. Oh, uh, hydrogen. Uh, let's go hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid and then nitric acid nitric and this is going to produce a nitrate salt yeah we know this let's look at the equation yeah hno3 plus sodium hydroxide let's stick with a good routine where we we kind of we can we can keep everyone else the same i'm gonna form sodium nitrate and water yeah the nitric acid is providing me with the anion for the salt, yeah? So becoming sodium nitrate. And then the next one, of course, is sulfuric. We know this one, sulfuric acid. By the way, you'll notice I'm not writing the word acid. The reason why is the top, it's, it's the title in the column, yeah? And it's gonna produce a sulfate salt. We, we've known this forever. We've known this since year eight or nine. At least anyone who had me, you learned this early, yeah? So if we do sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide, I'm going to have to balance this one because it's not a one-to-one, -one, yeah? I'm going to form sodium sulfate, yeah? The sulfate is just, and then I've got to balance it to sodiums, to waters. That yeah, probably adds up now. There we go. So the sulfuric acid is providing me with the sulfate anion for the salt. So what's, what's the base doing, yeah? What's the rule? So if the acid in the reaction provides the anion, What's the base providing? You guys know this. I don't need to say it. The base, the base in the reaction, in the reaction, provides the, I'm waiting for someone to put it on the chat. <laughs> Blank. Yeah. These rules, cation, thank you, Atia. Atia is now on point. Well done. It's the cation, well done. This makes total sense, yeah? So it's just, we realized that there's just, I'm gonna capitalize it like I did with the anion, yeah? Cation. There we go. So the basin reaction provides the cation. So let's look what that looks like. And I'm gonna just, Put that in a nice spangly box, yeah? And it's just nice to, let's flip the equation over. Yeah, let's do the base. So let's do calcium oxide plus hydrochloric acid. I go, oh, right, I'm going to form salt. Salt needs a positive ion and a negative ion, a cation and an anion. And we know that the cation comes from the base. There we go, there's the base, yeah? So we've got the CA there, CA2 plus, and the anion comes from the, the acid. So that's going to be Cl minus. Cross them down to get your formula, and we will form CaCl2. And then you run your rules. Oh, metal oxide plus acid goes to salt and water, and then you balance as necessary. Done. I know it seems like an awful lot. Can I just point out that after a while, you just do it. Yeah, it gets easier and easier and easier the more of these you practice. Yeah, and they're not very hard. It just is a case of just doing as many as you can. And after a while, you just kind of see it. I promise you do. You do, you do, you do. Uh, you've got a homework of this where you're going to be doing all of these equations. It's going to be, really, be great fun. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay. Oh, so, salt rules. We've got our salt rules. We've got our equation rules. Let's just check. So acid-base reaction rules. Tick. Done it. 
Next, understand the acid salt relationship. Tick, done it. Write acid base equations. So now, guys, we're just now what we need to do is apply all of our rules. Let's just keep running them. Let's just now do all the questions in the world. I don't know why I'm singing it. I do apologize. It's terrible. Absolutely awful. All the questions. Question number one. Boom. <laughs> Let's do. I'm just going to, I'm going to run a process and just repeat. It seems reasonable for me. Let's go. What I'm going to do, it's just nice for me to do this and just giving you guys a pattern. I'm going to go metal plus acid. Then I'm going to do metal oxide plus acid. Then metal hydroxide plus acid. Then metal carbonate plus acid. And you guys can, and then I'll repeat. Yay. Oh, the joys. So let's do lithium plus HCl goes to. Complete the equation, folks. Complete the equation. Question number two. I'm going to go for, I'm just going to move across the, uh, across the groups as well. Why not? Let's go for, there's the metal plus acid. Now we need to go metal oxide. Okay, let's go for magnesium oxide plus sulfuric acid. God, much higher in difficulty. Holy mackerel, much harder. Next, question number three. Now I've gone for the metal oxide. Now let's go to the hydroxide and move it across the table. Aluminium hydroxide. Aluminium hydroxide plus nitric acid. You see that I have changed the acid each time. I have changed from a metal to a metal oxide to a metal hydroxide and have moved across the table. Yeah, I've gone from group one, group two, and now to group three. Now I'm just going to, I've got to do one more. Question number four. Let's go for a carbonate. Copper carbonate. Yeah, copper carbonate, which is, I wonder who on the chat, please. What color? is copper carbonate. Amazing. So uh, copper carbonate, what acid shall I use? Heck, let's use, let's use HBr. Love it. There you go, guys. Impress me. Off you go. And then we're just going to repeat. Repeat said process. Yeah. So go for the first four. Like to see people rattling those out. And by the way, this now, of course, is real chemistry. Because what you're doing, I'm being nice because I'm giving you the formula at the beginning, and I could make it harder by giving you nothing, just giving you words for everybody. But green, well done. Uh, they do. It is green. You're right. It's blue green, really. Uh, do we do we give you the whole balanced equation uh, or just the products? Um, Lara, do you know what? All I want you to do is just have a go at them. You can pause the video now, have a go at all four, and then unpause it, and you can tick off to see if you got right. Don't write them all on the chat. It's an awful lot of tap in that. Just, just don't think it's worth it, really. Yeah, you'd have to write all the equation out. Nah, me. <clears throat> Wonderful, I'm going to do a Jamaican. No, I don't want to do that. And I definitely don't want to do Jamaican. It's not good. It's not a good plan. Right. Unpause the video. When you are ready. Okay, so we're going to form lithium chloride and hydrogen gas. I wonder who forgot the two. Now it needs to be balanced. Yeah, one lithium, one lithium, to one hydrogen, two hydrogens. Change somebody. Start again. Yeah, one lithium, one lithium, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, two chlorines, one chlorine. Change someone. Start again. One lithium, two lithiums. Start again. Two lithiums, two lithiums, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, two chlorines, two chlorines. I'm done. There's my final answer. Yeah, next. Magnesium oxide plus sulfuric acid. Ah, the metal is going to go with the sulfate. Yeah, anion and cation, or cation and anion. I'm going to form magnesium sulfate. Now, the question is, is that the correct formula? And the answer is yes. Let's just check. Magnesium is in group two. Sulfate is SO4, two minus. They cancel out. Yeah, they could just cancel out immediately. And then I'm going to get water because it was a metal oxide plus acid. It's just practice, folks. Balance it. It's already balanced. Isn't that nice? Yep. Next one. Oh, God, much harder. 
I'm going to form aluminium nitrate. What's the formula for aluminium nitrate? Aluminium is plus three. A nitrate ion is NO3, one minus. I'm going to need three nitrate ions. AL, open brackets, NO3, close brackets, three. That's hard. So I'm going to form aluminium nitrate. Holy, it, it takes, guys, I, I know you probably look at this going, this is hard, but I promise you, after you've done 20 of these, you'll be like, this is easy. You get used to doing it. Is it balanced? Heck no. Aluminium's one, aluminium's one. Yeah. Now I'm going to skip over the O and the H's because they're in two things. I can just, I just want to do the nitrate ions. They're the easiest to follow. The nitrate stays as a nitrate and I need three of them. Yeah. So I can go, I need three of those. Right. The next thing is if the nitrate, these oxygens here are part of the nitrate, I can ignore them for oxygen. Yeah. So then the three oxygens here, which means I'm going to need three waters because those oxygens there are the ones that went into this water. These oxygens here remained in the nitrate ion. They haven't changed, haven't gone anywhere. Yeah, I'm just gonna take away that green stuff. Can't read the equation if it's green like that. There we go. Uh-oh, it's going to vanish. Three, ah, didn't want that. I didn't scream like a girl. Oh no, no, no. there we go. Three there, three oxygens, three oxygens. Right, now we check for hydrogens. One aluminium, one aluminium. Oxygens three, oxygens three, hydrogens three. Oh, no, 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 be careful with the hydrogens. Three hydrogens here, but three hydrogens here, six in total, six hydrogens there, it now balances. Nitrates three, nitrates three, there we go. By the way, if you ever get a, a, a formula wrong, it won't balance, just nice for you to know. Next one, it's nice for me to give you an acid that we haven't spoken about yet. In chemistry, the great thing is, once you've got one, then you can usually apply it to fit everything else. It's like the best game ever. So it's just like, oh, I've got the rules. I can do everything. Boss. So this becomes, right, the cation comes from the base. The anion comes from the acid. I'm going to form copper 2 bromide. Yeah. The reason people, people going, how do you know it's going to be a copper 2? Because it was copper 2 here. Yeah. Cu2 plus, CO3 2 minus. They cancel out. That's already a 2 plus. That's copper 2 plus. So the two plus is gonna copy over, yeah? If it was redox, it wouldn't. Ah, but this is acid base. Right, now I need to, and by the way, ooh, carbonate, salt, water, and CO2, and carbon dioxide. Balance the equation, one copper, one copper. One carbon, one carbon. Oxygens, three and three. Hydrogens, one and two. Double it. Made a change. Start again. One copper, one copper. One carbon, one carbon. Three oxygens, three oxygens. Two hydrogens, two hydrogens. Two bromines, two bromines. And we're done. Right, guys. Hands up. Who got four out of four? That was hard, folks. Oh, you're, you're going to love your homework. It's just dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of these. Millions of them. I promise you. If you do them, you will be a better chemist. That's all it comes down to. Hand up. Dom! Outstanding. Good man. Awesome. Right. So, guys, if you're able to do this, then in reality, my lesson comes to an end at this point. Yeah? My lesson comes to an end at this point. I've done all my learning objectives, and I'm really pleased. And I don't want to overload you with any more data. Now, what I'd like to do now is I'd like... We've got... Um, We've got 20 minutes left of our lesson. I think it'd be really good if I give you the homework now. If I just submit the homework on the classroom and then you guys can start your homework early. I think that's a really good shout, in my opinion. Would you agree? That means you may have no homework. Wouldn't that be lovely? Huh? Yeah. Oof. Uh. Okay, let's see if I can submit this try and track i'm trying to track it down now oh, i've lost my sheet hang on that's what happens when you got so many sheets you know what guys i'm going to i'm just going to realize not, there we go uh that moment when i'm 30 seconds behind the rest of the class because i'm too slow to understand no atia it's not true atia this, it, look, you shouldn't be looking at the rest of the class. Chemistry is not a race, yeah? It's better for you to understand it and be able to do it, yeah? If people rush it, they're just gonna make mistakes. 
Don't ever compete. You don't need to compete. I just want you to be a good chemist. Right, guys, I'm going to end my lesson early. I'm going to submit the worksheet onto the classroom, and you guys can start work immediately. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Look at that. An early finish for Mr. Duncan. See you later, guys. Have a good rest of your day. I have to start the homework now. See you later. See you later.